This is our um, newborn two-toed sloth. He's about uh, seven weeks old at the moment. And um, yeah, we've been hand rearing him for a couple of weeks now. So unfortunately, the mother wasn't um, able to take care of this one. So um, we've been, um, we've stepped in um, with the feedings just to, um, to give her a bit of a hand. And um, yeah, feeding every three hours, uh, day and night. Um, at the moment we're feeding this little one on goat's milk and he also gets a tiny pinch of some, some vitamins that go into the milk as well. Initially he wasn't fantastic at feeding but within a few days he's, um, he sort of grabs the bottle and, um, and he's sucking really, really well. If he's particularly hungry then he does um, a pretty unusual noise. It's kind of like a, a squeak sneeze. It's very strange but very loud. <laughs> We're keeping really, really thorough records of everything that goes on with um, uh, this little baby's um, sort of day-to-day -day life. So every single feed, I record exactly how many uh, millimetres of milk that he's had. Um, every time it goes to the toilet, which is um, very unusual, they only um, go to the toilet about once a week. And um, so throughout the course of the week, it's incredible when you look at how much he's eating and um, he just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then, um, yeah, goes to the loo and um, drastically drops in weight after going to the loo. So every time um, he does go to the toilet, we'll, we'll weigh him again just to see um, the difference that it makes. And it's, it's pretty enormous. I've got some of these sloth teddy bears that I've gotten from our gift shop and um, what I want is um, I want the baby to use all of the muscles that he would be using if he was on his mother. So um, what we've done is we've got some uh, carabiners and attached them to all of the limbs of the uh, teddy bear and we uh, hang up this teddy sort of about six inches from the, um, from the ground just so that um, if baby does slip it's, he's not going to hurt himself and he's able to climb all the way around uh, the teddies and make himself comfy however he wants to be. So Sometimes he'll um, perch on the top of the, the sloth toy as if he was on mum's tummy or sometimes he'll hang upside down or, or hang off the legs. He's really active. <laughs> this little guy is getting stronger and stronger by the day and um, putting on weight nicely. And so, yeah, hopefully um, he'll keep feeding really, really well over the next sort of couple of months and start getting on to some more um, sort of solid foods, more vegetables. And then, fingers crossed, um, we'll be able to introduce him back to his mother um, when he's able to, to sort of start feeding himself. Yeah, the things I've enjoyed the most about getting to, to look after this little one and um, is really getting to see his character. He's, um, when he's active, he's very, very active. Um, but sometimes I'll wake him up for feeds and he'll just yawn his head off. Um, and he even covers his eyes with, um, with his little claws sometimes where if he just doesn't want to get up for his feeds. So I'll normally have to wait an hour and then try again when he's, he's more awake, which is um, yeah, quite funny. He's got a real sort of little character.